Is this dispatch? It is dispatch. Can I help you? Yeah, this is Doug Varrier on Mango Lane on Big Pine Key. I just want to alert you. We'll be firing in about 15 minutes and we'll be stopping at 4 o'clock. Would you please alert the officers that are local? You're firing what? We'll be firing our weapons at, at my target practice area on Big Pine Key. No boats in the canal, no boat traffic, no pedestrians, nobody out. Okay, canal's clear, range is hot. Range is cold. We want to keep control of the shots. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we've counted for all of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Huey! Dead victim! Yeah, I got her. <laughs> Was she screaming too loud? What? Was she screaming too Absolutely. loud? Absolutely, I couldn't. I had it. I had it. <laughs> I put this target practice area up after I studied Florida state law and I found that it is legal for you to discharge a firearm on private property as long as it's not over a paved road or an occupied dwelling in a safe manner, not reckless and not negligent. So if you decide to do this, make sure you do it in a safe, non-negligent, non-reckless manner. Oh, a zombie! Oh yeah, that's a zombie that's attacking a woman. And as you see, when you when you when you hit the actual zombie, you'll see uh, a reaction color. Okay, so whenever the zombies hit, you get a reaction color. But if you hit the victim, it just turns white. You don't get the yellow and green blood, unfortunately. <laughs> but reactive targets are very common. They're very easy to buy on Amazon or your local gun shop, and they're a lot of fun. I'm a concealed firearms permit holder because 27 years ago in a restaurant parking lot, a crazy person pulled a gun on me and my two little children, six and seven years old, and that day I swore that would never happen again without me being fully armed. I've had that weapon for 27 years. I've never had to fire it at another human being, and I hope I never have to. Don't use metal anywhere in your backdrop. Metal will cause ricochet. Don't ever, ever use metal unless you're way out in a rural area, big acreage around you. That's the only time I would ever suggest any kind of metal target, but then I... An area where you're even concerned for one second about ricochet, make certain that you're using wood. And don't use railroad ties. They're old, they're rotted, they're cracked. That's why the railroad got rid of them. Spend your money. This backdrop cost me 600 bucks. You and I bought it together for this material. It's, it's all 6x6s six six and 2x12s. Very strong, lasts a long time. Go the extra mile.